New at 430, South Carolina's governor is making some changes to how the state picks and chooses its lower level judges. Henry McMaster says candidates nominated for magistrate positions have to turn over their financial records and background info to the state. McMaster now says he's requiring an application that includes asking familiarity about legal issues and the candidate's sentencing philosophy. Magistrates are the lowest level in the state's court system, but handle the most business, being responsible for search and arrest warrants, setting bail, and hearing some criminal cases. Candidates nominated to be one of the more than 300 magistrates in South Carolina will now need to reveal their employment history, business affiliations, financial assets, and liabilities before taking the gavel. Let's bring in someone who knows a lot about being a magistrate judge, Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes. Khalif, you were former head of the magistrates here in Mecklenburg County. This is a big deal. It's definitely a big deal. The only distinction I'd say in North Carolina, we, we ended just magistrates. South Carolina considers the magistrate judges. Both uh, judicial officials, both we do the exact same jobs. Uh, but in South Carolina, it's interesting this is kind of connecting to their reform on the criminal justice system. If you remember back in June, they did a revamp of their bail policy um, issues. The governor thought it was a step in the right direction, thought that the, this legislator could have went a little bit further, but was happy with the outcome. Um, I think this is right in line with everywhere else. I mean, in North Carolina right now, if you serve in a public capacity, and that's being a judge, any elected official, you serve on state boards, I serve on a number of boards, you have to turn in your statement of economic interest. That tells you what you've invested in, what type of property you own. I mean, it lists a number of things. And so I would think it would make sense if you have folks that have a interest in deciding civil matters that have any amount in controversy that they have to decide. You don't want folks that have, you know, are in some huge deficit deciding money where they can maybe be persuaded um, to go another way. And so this is, I think, a way to make sure that there's accountability and transparency and trust within the system. One or two issues that I think that folks may have is when he asks about their sentencing philosophy. Um, the judge is supposed to be neutral, fair, and impartial. So regardless if you are appointing that judicial official to the position, um, if you're going to use that as a way to exclude people who may dif differ from your judicial philosophy, um, that may spark some issues, I think, or concerns within the legal community for sure. Well, you mentioned this is already in line with other states. It's also already in line with other statewide appointments in South Carolina. But why hasn't that been the case for those magistrates until now? Um, the, the magistrate position, just like in North Carolina, it's a position that really has not had much oversight for a long amount of time. And because they are the workhorse of the judicial process, Folks just forget how much they do. And over time, you just start throwing more layers at them. Okay, you can go operator district court judge's docket. Okay, you can set bail policies for this amount. And then you start to look back and say, wow, we've given them a lot of authority and not much oversight and not much checks and balances before they got to the position. Remember, a lot of these folks aren't lawyers. In South Carolina, only 25% of them are attorneys. And so you're saying 75% of folks that are dealing with individuals on their first basis with the legal process don't have a law degree. So having the requirement of him saying, knowing your legal background, yeah, it's kind of required. If you flip it back to prior to 2010, they didn't even have to have but an associate's degree. And so there is progression within this process. As the legal prog legal um, industry starts to grow and more, we have an increase in crime across the country, you'll see the need for magistrates to have a higher level of accountability and understanding of law. In Pennsylvania, you got to have a law degree before you can be a magistrate. In most states, you do. But in the South, South Carolina and North Carolina, you don't, which is a change. But ensuring that those folks have the understanding of the legal process is extremely important. I can only imagine this is going to raise the bar mm -hmm. down in South Carolina. Chief Legal Analyst. Pun intended. Khalif, <laughs> right, yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Khalif.